Hey guys, it's Casera, and today I'm going to be doing my review for Black Sun by Rebecca Rowanhorst. So I did receive a free e-arc of this book from NetGalley in exchange for an honest review. So this is a pre-Columbian era high fantasy novel, and it's following like several different main characters. One of them named Narumpa is the sun priest, and, and then we also have Serapio who is the Odo Sedo? I don't know if I pronounced that right, so I'm sorry if I didn't, but he is basically like the vessel for a god. And there are a couple of other characters that we follow as well. There were some aspects of this book that I really, really enjoyed but there were a lot of little things that kind of frustrated me about this as well. But overall, I do think this was a fantastic book and I ended up giving it four stars. Like always with my reviews, I'm gonna be talking about four things, character, plot, world building, and writing style. So we're gonna start with character. So the characters themselves, I really, really loved. I loved all of the characters. Serapio was just absolutely precious, but my two favorite characters have to be Narumpa and Siala. Siala, I think, had a very interesting plot line because she's a teak, which means she she is like a daughter of the sea. She's kind of looked at as sort of like a witch to like the mainland people. She does have an interesting kind of magic to her as well that I really loved. I think what I loved the most about her was just her personality. She had a very lovable personality, partially because of her backstory and who she is. Like she's kind of kept outside of regular society, but also just the way she acts. She is very independent and strong in like not an in your face kind of way. And I really love that about her. And like I said, in a Rumpa is also a really interesting character for me. She has a really interesting backstory as well. It comes from the Carrion Crow clan, which are not generally on good terms with the Sun Priest, let's put it that way. But somehow she managed to work her way up the Sun Priest and become the Sun Priest. So despite her past, she has kind of risen to really high levels. And I really like that about her. And her storyline actually gets pretty political, which is interesting because I wasn't fully expecting that from this, which is a pretty good segue into plot. So the plot was actually hit or miss for me. Unlike the characters where I actually really Really liked the characters. Plot didn't fully work for me. Overall, I liked the plot, but the one aspect that I kind of didn't like in this was the politics. I love politics and fantasy, and there was pretty good politics here, but it was just way too easy to guess what was going to happen with the politics. I wanted it to be more complex. I wanted it to keep me more guessing. From the first chapter, you automatically know who the antagonist is, and that's going to be the person that is going to screw up all of the politics in the story, and that's exactly what happened. It was a little over simplified for me when it comes to politics. I like my politics to be a little bit more complex, but I still enjoyed it. All the other plot lines were really great as well, and I liked the way it was going. Except I feel like it ended too soon. It got to this like climactic part, and I felt like, you know how a lot of books, they have that like twist at the end, and then it keeps going for a little while before it actually ends? I was kind of expecting that because there's this tension of these two characters kind of meeting towards the end. Like that's like the, the breaking point is when these two characters are gonna meet. And I don't wanna say too much about it. It wasn't satisfying for me. Like I felt like there was a whole third of this book that was just missing because of that ending. I do realize like, yes, it makes me want to read the next book a lot now. Like I really wanna read the next book. But at the same time, I felt like you could have added a hundred pages to this book and it could have been like just this really great fantasy book. It is what it is, but I am really excited to see how it continues on in the next book. Then we're gonna talk about world building. And for me, the world building was very hit or miss. So some aspects of the world building, I really, really loved. Just like the names, the cultures, all of the themes and ideas and all of that was just so, so well done. I absolutely loved that aspect of it. But then there were just like little things in the world building that kind of annoyed me. I think a lot of it was the dialogue for me because a lot of the dialogue felt more modern to me, which I will get a little bit more into the dialogue in the writing style section. But for example, for me, I read a lot of high fantasy fantasy and it seems almost like standard now that expletives that characters use are specific to the fantasy worlds. Now not every once in a while you'll get like a more modern expletive or at least an expletive that would have been used during that historical time period it's set in. Obviously we don't know what those would be for this because it's pre-Columbian and we don't have a whole lot of information from back during that time since so many things were destroyed by the Europeans that came over to America. But I didn't expect that they would be using like modern phrases and stuff like that, if you know what I mean. Also, I felt like it was just like the details of the world building. I did like that there was one drink in particular that they used a more like exotic name for, but I was kind of looking for more of that. And honestly, the only thing I could remember was that one drink and of course the characters' names. I would have preferred if we got a little bit more detailed foods or drinks and stuff like that, just to give a more of an atmosphere than I ended up getting from this book. And last, we're gonna talk about writing style. So writing style, for the most part, I really loved. I think the pacing was awesome in this book. I liked the way the characters were developed. Oh, I forgot about one thing. 
that I meant to say during the character section. There is a romantic relationship in this and for me I like the characters together as an idea but I didn't like the way that it was done. Like the way it was written it kind of felt like it came out of nowhere especially for one of the characters. Like one of the characters we got a little bit of a build up for but the other one it was just kind of like oh wow that's a thing now okay. That went from like zero to a hundred in like less than a page. Pacing wise the romantic side didn't fully work for me. I felt like that should have been dragged out a little bit but for the rest of the pacing I really enjoyed it because it kept me on my toes the entire time and I really enjoyed that aspect of it. I do think the second half of the book for me was a lot more interesting than the first half of the book when the first half of the book was more introducing things. Honestly the thing that annoyed me the most was the dialogue. I just felt like a lot of the dialogue especially from Ciela's point of view but from other characters point of views as well didn't really immerse me in the story like the way they talked and things like that didn't quite work for me. So because of that it kind of reduced my enjoyment of this but otherwise I really did think this was a fantastic book that I gave four stars to and I'm really excited to see the next book in this series. So that's all I have for you guys. If you've read this book let me know down in the comments because I would love to discuss with you guys. I post videos on Sundays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays so consider subscribing. And if you'd like to be notified as soon as I upload you can click that little bell icon. If you like this video please give it a big thumbs up to support my channel. All social media links are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!